Well, reaction to Newcastle's promotion has been flowing in on social media. We heard from goalkeeper Rob Elliott in Simon's report there. He was celebrating with his teammates last night, and then he was up bright and early this morning, maybe to clear his head. With a walk on the beach, he tweeted this wonderful picture. And he said, what a beautiful morning to cap an amazing night. There must be a few sore heads in the tune. The boys with the oval ball tweeted their best wishes. Newcastle Falcons offering hearty congratulations to our good friends NUFC on promotion to the Premier League and the most famous of fans. Anton Deck got involved tweeting, get in, away the lads. Thank you, Rafa. As Amy Lee reports, they weren't the only Geordies who were celebrating. Pride of place in the heart of the city. St James's Park quiet today as this city goes about its business with a spring in its step. It's absolutely brilliant. Uh, everywhere I go, people are walking just that bit taller today. Real sense of pride that a premier city like Newcastle has a premiership team again. That feels really great. And indeed it did, with fans still revelling in last night's victory. Lunchtime in Newcastle and you're back in the Premier League. How yeah. does it feel? Amazing to be honest. I was at Amherst with them on match day, so I was there last night and just the atmosphere, watch, watching them, oh, amazing. Just so can't quite believe it. I'm really proud of Newcastle to be honest. Coming back from relegation to the Premier League, it's really good. When the match was just class, best match ever. Was it ever in doubt for you? Yeah, <laughs> regularly, yeah. Um, last few games, they haven't been great, but uh, yesterday they, they came to Trump, so it was good. I think Newcastle will do well if they buy a player. Call Messi. I've never seen them lose this season at home, so uh, you lucky it's really quite exciting. It's, it's really good. For many in this city, football is quite simply a way of life. But Newcastle's promotion back to the Premier League can have consequences and potential benefits far beyond that within the beautiful game. It brings a huge amount of money into the city. Those big games, your Chelsea's, your Man City's, they bring with them a lot of high spending overnight visitors that stay in the hotels and they'll perhaps even stay for a weekend for the weekend matches. Uh, we know that the impact uh, financially of each game is worth in excess of £2 million. So next year, I think we'll stand to see a huge in influx of uh, funds and people into the city centre. There are two more games to go this season before the Toon bid farewell to the championship. This city is ready. Amy Lee, ITV News, Newcastle.